Good morning. First, I would like to say thank you to the committee for invitation. It is an honor to us to present our research study at your conference. My name is Jolanta Pułka and I represent Andrzej Frycz Modrzewski Krakow University. My colleague is Leszek Świeca and he represents Jagiellonian University in Krakow. We are going to tell you about our research study titled An Exploration of the Factors that Influence the Moral Judgments of Students. Theoretical background which influence us comes from different fields of knowledge – pedagogy, psychology, communication, management. We find that people follow a specific ethical system, different for different communities and cultures, no matter what kind of discipline represent. In our study, we were looking for connections between accepting ethical codes with a number of factors that affect moral judgments of Polish students. Various factors are related to a smaller or larger degree to perceiving observation of behavior of others and then their judgment. For example, commitment and perseverance, transgression, strong ego, openness, non-conformism, entrepreneurship, tendency to take risk. We based on the results of the studies conducted by Wojciszka and Pariwa, which shows that almost 100% of behavior of moral nature may be explained referring to three codes of ethics. Ethics of autonomy, ethics of common good and ethics of dignity. Each code has its own content domain, built around some central value that determines positiveness versus negativeness of typical behaviors. Ethics of autonomy considers the good of another to be the central value. You have some examples of them. Respect for good, freedom and rights of the individual, helping others, loyalty to the individual. Ethics of common good places the good of the community as the whole in the center spot, among others against the background of respecting standards, law, true equality. And the last one, ethics of dignity, for which the central value is living a decent life, spirituality, on our contempt for material values. In our research study, we use a probe method with the use of questionnaire technique, ethics questionnaire by Wojciszka and Baryła, and personality and creative thinking questionnaire by Harzyńska and Wysocka. We verify the pairs of variables, three codes of ethics with seven dimensions of personality and creative thinking, as you can see on this picture. This was the structure for our hypothesis. All of them we will present in a paper. The study group consists of students of Polish universities and colleges. It was 577 persons, mostly women, who were studying pedagogy. For data analysis, we used the Kruskal Wallis test as a non-parametric alternative to the one-way analysis of variance ANOVA. The test was used to compare the average values whose distribution is not similar to normal distribution. We estimate the correlation between a pair of variables 
Spearman's rank correlation coefficients. We will show you the results of our research in two groups. Pairs of variables with statistical significance, pairs from 1 to 5, and pairs of variables without statistical significance, number 6. The study group analysis showed that the strongest differentiation was for the variable ethics of common good and the factor openness. Ethics of common good and the factor of commitment and perseverance. Ethics of common good and the factor of tendency to take risk. Ethics of autonomy and the factor of commitment and perseverance. And ethics of autonomy and the factor of openness. Group show the results without statistical significance. It was nine pairs of variables detailed described on this slide. To sum up our study, we can say we have indicated in the study with the questionnaire technique that the factors that are strongest in differentiation of variables and are statistical statistically significant are commitment and perseverance, openness, as well as tendency to take risk. These dimensions of personality determine development of the attitude of support for codes of ethics in the area of ethics of autonomy and common good that gain acceptance in the Polish community. The results imply modification of the process of student education and conducting further studies in this aspect. As an academic lecturers, we could apply this knowledge in everyday learning each other, in changes of learning programs and all educational processes towards more centered on students' development, more preparing them for a new world, for example, for VUCA world. For more information, follow the list of references or simply contact us. Thank you for your attention. We send you best regards from Poland and we hope to see you in person next time.